Look at all this mail. It's crazy what's coming in at the moment. Mostly drop shipped, uh, which is probably good. Uh, anyway, let's get a few of these opened up and see what's inside. Alrighty, so first guy is, uh, well, I've obliterated what it is, so it's always going to be a bit of a surprise. It looks like, oh, it looks like maybe extra flash. So I wonder if I can use the big magnifying glass here, which uh, I don't think I've used before. Does that help? Mm, not really. So, can I see what they are? No, I'm going to have to go up close and have a look. And I'm going to guess, though, that these are the Windbond chips. Yes, they are. And uh, maybe you can see that. But, yeah, 25Q32FV SIG, basically 4 megabyte. And uh, the reason why I've got those ones is because, as you know, I've been playing a little bit with the old ESP01 versions. And these guys have a one megabyte memory chip on the side here. Okay, so that's this one. And if you're able to do any SMD soldering, you can you know, desolder that one, let's say, with an air gun and put one of these guys on. So I'm going to do a memory test with this guy. Then I'm going to uh, swap out and do a memory test again and just see if we can beef up his memory a bit pretty cheap way of uh, getting a little bit more bang for your buck out of these guys. Oh, here's a chunky monkey. Let's have a look at what's inside. A lot of foam. I don't remember ordering a lot of foam. Let's keep digging. And we have, oh, okay, we have stepper motors, it looks like. Yep, these are definitely stepper motors. Let's grab one out. Yeah, nice. Okay, so uh, what have we got? 12 volt DC step motor. The 28BYJ48. Hmm. And what are these guys? Controllers, I'm guessing. For same. Let's have a look. So, yeah. So this is... Uh, the chip is a ULN2003 APG, which I think is a Darlington. And so I'm guessing that that's going to control the stepper motor. Can I put that stepper motor back because there's a little connection there and I'm guessing that that probably plugs plugs in so this is going to be pretty cool to play with so that goes in there nice and then we've got we've got in one in two in three and in four then some five six sevens which aren't in uh, and then we've got a five and a 12 volt uh, little jumper here some other bits and pieces including some LEDs oh yeah I'm very keen to get this set up with a microcontroller and uh, and get some spinning action out of it it's not the size so this is probably fine let's have a look oh oh okay so we have some um, Battery chargers, these are micro USB. So, uh, micro USB, or we could hook it up to a solar panel on one side or the other. And then we've got Opta Battery 18650, and then we've got Opta Project uh, out. So, nice. 10 of those, uh, they'll be useful for all these little solar uh, panel projects I've got planned in my head. bit weighty this one I reckon I know what this is I'm gonna go with solar power pack uh, let's have a look no I'm wrong solar yes power pack no OMG look at 
the size of these guys. What is this? Five volt and quite large, so I'm going to go with a pretty hefty current. Let's get them hooked up in some sunshine. If we can find it with a load, boy, that is, that's bigger than, yup. And uh, we'll see what we can get out of them. Next. And let's have a look. On the side here. Want some bubble wrap. And inside the bubble wrap, we have got, oh, okay, nice. So this, is this ESP32? Uh, ESP, oh, let's get the big guy out. Can we see that? ESP32 room 32D. And maybe adapters to suit. Uh, have had some issues lately with buying adapters which are great, and also buying uh, these ESP32s, which are also great, but the two not actually um, being suitable for each other. But what I've done this time is I've got them, obviously, from the same vendor, and I've also checked my pinouts a little bit more carefully. So I'm hoping that, uh, that these guys here... Firstly, I can program them up with uh, adapters I got a couple of mailbags ago, but secondly, once they're programmed, I can just sit them in this little cradle and use the uh, GPIOs uh, fairly easily. Ah, oh, yeah, I reckon that matches up pretty well. Let's zoom in on that guy. So, ah, oh, that is lovely. So, yep, I'm going to program this up and, uh, and then slipped them into this cradle, and that is pretty awesome. Uh, did any buttons come with this? Yeah, look at that. We also get some SMT buttons. Nice. Uh, for programming and for reset. So there's your program one over there. And there's your reset. Looks like we could put a couple of resistors in there, which didn't come with it. And there's some double uh, header pins to, um, to use as well. So, yeah, looking forward to getting these fired up and, uh, and seeing what we can do with them. Nice one. All right, next, what have we got? We've got some more packaging. And, ah, okay, nice one. So, again, with the ESP8266s, 80, and this is the 01 version, programming them, uh, it comes in handy if you've got one of these guys. It comes in a lot handy because back in the day, trying to program them with, uh, you know, jumper wires all over the place was tricky. This is a lot easier. A little um, button on the side. So that is UART on one side uh, for just communicating with the chip. And then we've got programming for actually programming it. So that is very, very handy indeed. Plug straight into your computer. Uh, and then your ESP8266 fits on top of that. Do I have one? Oh, I just happen to have one, look at that. So let's put that in, just slots in here, very neat little unit. Program it up, all good to go. Nice one. A couple of those because you can never have too many, especially if you're prone to blowing things up. Not that I am, but you know, you never know. The penultimate package. What is it? It is, ah, I suspect this is another case of keeping up with Pile of Stuff. I saw this on, uh, on Pile of Stuff's channel a while ago. What a cool little unit this is. So he did a very good um, project, and I'll, I'll put a link up here, which, uh, in which he hacked into a speaker, I think, from memory, and uh, slotted this in put the, um, the uh, power through to it, and then was able to have like a little boom box down in the workshop. Very, very cool idea. So yeah, I think I'll be doing much the same sort of thing. You can't have too much music. Good job, thanks Pile of Stuff. Great inspiration as usual. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yep.
And this is the last one. Oh, there's something that I don't want to cut. Maybe go, let's try the corner and then see how we go from there. Interesting. Yeah, there's some cables in there. Ah, okay. So, all right. In, um, in anticipation of more work with ESP12Es and 12Fs, I've got this guy here. So it's like a breakout board. It's pretty neat, actually. So you put your ESP12E or 12F along here, and then it breaks it out, and then you've got like this, um, this board can then be used for a project. It's a, just a, a, a lovely size as well. And, uh, and some of uh, these projects, um, I'm just thinking actually of ones involving ESP07Ss, uh, you can also stick an antenna on to increase the range. So yeah, that's nice. Well, that is a fairly long, uh, but a pretty, uh, pretty nice um, lot of packages there in the mailbag. Uh, we'll catch you next week. See you then. Bye.